Now, Lewisham and Bromley are both boroughs within South London. They make up two separate areas that house hundreds of thousands of residents. From an outside look-in, Bromley is a safe borough, with it even being ranked within the top 10 safest London boroughs. However, the same can't be said about Lewisham, with Lewisham being ranked within the top 20 most dangerous boroughs, with the overall crime statistic being 90 crimes per 1,000 people. What a lot of the people that live there aren't aware of is the gang war between two gangs within the two boroughs. This war has proven to be dangerous, claiming the lives of multiple people. Now B-Side is a small street gang based around Bellingham, around the Rushley Green Estate and Milton Towers Estate. Within the SE6 postcode, B-Side is well known to be a small gang with them only having a few members. B-Side has become a legendary drill group due to them dropping notorious drill songs around 2016 and 17. They have had a big impact on the scene and are well known to be a notorious and dangerous gang within South London. Their most prominent rappers include KK, 30, Django, and B-God. B-Side has beef with nearby Zone 2. Monson and SG. However, the rivalry I'll be discussing today is the beef between B-Side and M20, based within Penge. Now we can't talk about B-Side without talking about their ops. M20 is a large street gang based around Penge, within the London borough of Bromley. The gang is based within the SE20 postcode. M20 is often referred to as Penge, as that is the area the gang takes up. M20 was formed from two smaller sets within Penge, these being Murder Squad, or MS, and Block 20, or B20. M20's main ops are B-Side, Block 6, and Block 12. M20 would once beef nearby gang SG, who also had heavy beef with B-Side, SG, and M20 would dead the beef however, due to them pretty much beefing the same people. You may know SG, as popular rapper Russ Millions repped the gang for a while. Russ would switch gangs three times. He would originally rep 814 in Deptford, but would then switch to SG, and then M20. Although it's not known if he is involved with these gangs nowadays, due to him having problems around these areas, as him and Taze, who also repped M20, would start to have problems with each other. Whilst it's unknown why these two sides beef, it's most likely over either money or drugs. Although I have heard that the beef started over a girl, however this may be false, so if you do know the origin of why these two sides have issues, drop it in the comments. However the beef would prove to be deadly, with B-Side and M20 members being known as the most active in South London. Not much has been known about the early days of the beef, however what is known is that stabbings and shootings would be a regular occurrence between the gangs. In 2015, we would see the first person to be killed between SG and B-Side. This would occur on the 26th of September. September 2015, when a member of SG or Splash Gang named YB would be riding in a Vauxhall Corsa with another person named Gary Brown. They would be driving around the Turnham Estate within Broccoli. This was where another gang named AR, which was loosely allied with B-Side, was based. Anyways, AR and alleged B-Side members would spot the car. The members would then attack the car with sticks and stones. One of the members would throw a large concrete block at the car. This would hit the car. The driver, Gary Brown, would then make an attempt to drive away. However, he would crash the car into a lamppost. The attackers would flee the scene and police and ambulances would be called. Sadly YB or Nazim Galez would be pronounced dead due to the crash moments later. Now the people who threw the bricks and attacked the car would never be arrested or charged for the murder. However the driver of the car, Gary Brown would be arrested and charged, he would be found guilty and given 9 years for the incident. Rest in peace YB. After this incident, a young member of B-Side named KK would start dropping songs in 2016, with him dissing YB in early songs, however he wasn't the only one dissing YB. A young rapper from 814 named Shoki would also start dissing him. Sadly, Shoki would be killed months later. Rest in peace, Shoki. Months later, KK would go live dissing ops. He would show off a bike that he stole from an op named Young Major. Later in this live, KK would also diss YB, saying that him and other B-side members smoke him. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let, let everyone see. Let everyone see. Let everyone see. Let... I can't be wrong, some Nassim. Oh, no, we need to build some Nassim. We need to build some Nassim. <laughs> We need to do some Nassim now. Later in 2016, a member of M20 named Taze would ride onto B-Side's block in Bellingham. When he would reach their block, KK who was well known as B-Side's most dangerous member would spot him. KK would run down Taze, Taze would decide to leave his car and car keys, and would run on foot. KK would take Taze's keys and would even rap about this on a song dropped months later. Fans would start noticing B-Side as they were starting to be well known as a rude gang. KK would drop a song under a month later named Splash with other B-Side members, like Nino and Ghost. In the music video, KK would even show off Taze's car keys. 
Me and K got left with a car key. Young boys in a beat. This level of rudeness was pretty much unseen in Drill at this time. B side was beginning to make a name for themselves around this time, with them starting to gain a lot of attention in the drill scene. Around the end of 2016, a well respected member of B side named 30 would drop a song named Where They Hiding, with 30 and other B side members even traveling onto their op block being Penge and recording a full music video. The lyrics within this song would contain many disses towards M20 and other ops. Not long after the music video was uploaded, it would be taken down by police. This marked one of the first drill music videos to be taken down by police, although this is quite common nowadays. Around this time, a younger member of M20 named C2 would also be rapping. C2 is often credited as the best in M20, with him dropping a few songs in 2017, although he's not active much anymore. KK and 30 would also be blowing up in the scene in the beginning of 2017, with them even featuring on a Mad About Bars. This song currently sits on 1.5 million views, however KK wouldn't be able to see the success of his music career. A month prior to the Mad About Bars dropping, on the 24th of February 2017, a music producer named Dean Pascal, who had alleged affiliation with SG and M20, would travel to Grove Park within Lewisham. He was going to shoot a music video for one of his friends, when B-side members including Nino and KK, who were actually cousins, would ride out looking for ops. They would spot Dean Pascal and would hop off a bike, and a fight would ensue. Dean would be stabbed 14 times by the members. He would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene with the killers fleeing. KK would flee to Jamaica Jamaica after the murder. However, he would be brought back to England in November 2017 and charged for the murder. Nino would also be charged for the murder, and later in the spring of 2018, they would be found guilty. Nino was given life in prison with a minimum of 20 years with allegations of Nino even snitching on his cousin KK and the other B-side members. KK would be given a minimum of 17 years. Rest in peace, Dean Pascal. KK is often regarded as the most active member of B-Side, with it even being alleged he stabbed popular Zone 2 rapper PS in his back, with the knife being left in his back. Luckily, PS would survive and make a recovery. This would be a big loss for the drill scene, with KK and Nino being prominent drill rappers, with them probably never being able to make songs again. However, 30 would be continuing with his career after this, with 30 and another B-Side member named Django dropping a UK drill anthem titled Want Me In Cuffs, which had a catchy hook and a cold verse from both rappers. This song would blow and currently sits on over 8 million views. Django and 30 would start to drop music together. They dropped another popular song titled Dexter in June of 2017. It started to look as if B-Side could blow in the scene. However, whilst they were blowing in the scene, M20 would be looking for a chance to kill. On the 2nd of November 2017, a 17-year-old named Michael Jonas would receive a call from a M20 member named M Face. He would arrange to meet Michael in Betts Park within Penge. When Michael Jonas would arrive at the park, six M20 members, including M face would start to attack Michael. He would sustain multiple stab wounds, with the attackers fleeing. Michael would be pronounced dead moments later on the scene. A murder investigation would be launched following this, with all of the members being arrested originally. However, it would take almost six years to charge the M20 members. Whilst it's unknown if Michael Jonas was involved in the beef, it's largely speculated that the M20 members accused him of snitching, resulting in the attack. Rest in peace, Michael Jonas. M20 would start to gain attention in music around this time, with rappers like Russ and Tay who repped M20 for a short period, starting to blow up in the scene. A lot of their early songs have since been taken down, however re-uploads still do exist. B-Side would also be active around this time, however 2018 would be a somewhat inconsistent year for B-Side, with a lot of their rappers jumping off road and others going to jail. Almost one year on from the murder of Michael, M-Face would be caught lacking by B-Side members, and he was forced to deny his involvement on camera. This video would go viral on the internet, with it still being accessible to this day. Days following this incident between M Face and B Side, M20 members and M Face would be planning to ride out onto B Side's block in search of a rival. On the 1st of November 2018, a 15 year old alleged affiliate of the gang PGM, named Choppa or Jay Hughes, would be standing outside of a Morley's within Bellingham. Now it's important to note that Choppa's involvement with the B Side gang is often debated, with certain people saying he was affiliated with B Side and another gang named Palmer's Green Massive or PGM, and others saying it was an act of mistaken identity. Anyways, M Face and other M20 members would be looking for ops. They would originally spot a group of boys and would take chase, with half of the M20 members chasing the group. However, M Face would see Choppa standing outside of a Morley's and would stab Choppa multiple times, with the incident even being caught on CCTV. Choppa would be pronounced dead on the scene, with the killers fleeing. M Face and the others would be arrested, with M Face facing his second murder charge before he turned 18, with him only being 16 years old. M Face would be found guilty for the murder of Choppa in 2019 and would be handed life 
with a minimum of 19 years, police would attach M. Face to the murder of Michael, and in February 2024, M. Face would be given another life sentence, meaning he is serving two life sentences, meaning he will probably never see the outside of a cell again. Now after the murder of Choppa, a young rapper from PGM and Blue Hills named Lil A. Won would make two tribute songs to Choppa. These songs were titled Choppa's World 1 and 2, Rest in Peace, J. Hughes or Choppa. After the death of Choppa, tit-for-tat incidents continued to play out in the streets, with countless YouTube videos documenting the scoreboard between B-Side and M20. With it even being alleged a M20 member was stabbed by B-Side members and put on life support, however he would make a steady recovery and would survive the attack. Around early 2019, a lot of B-Side members would start to jump off road. This included Django, who was a prominent rapper, Young KK and other members, all leaving the road life. Not much is known about the beef following the death of Choppa, although in 2020, B-Side members would link up and drop a light work freestyle. This included 30, B-God, Diz, and Kiz. This song would instantly gain success, and it's a seriously cold song coming from B-Side. It currently sits on 3 million views, which just proves that B-Side is very well known in the UK drill scene. In 2020, we would also see the split of Russ and Taze who were a cold musical duo. This was due to Taze being close with CGM, and Russ having an altercation with AP who was from CGM. This altercation resulted in CGM robbing Russ's jewelry. Russ would leave the gang and put all of his focus into music. He currently doesn't rep any gang but is doing very well for himself in the music scene, being one of the only UK drill rappers to go somewhat mainstream. And later in December 2020, B-Side members 30, B-God, Diz, and M-Sav would drop a plugged in. This plugged in was highly anticipated by drill fans, with it quickly gaining attention. It currently sits on 3.6 million views, with people even starting to state that 30 was the best UK drill rapper at the time. During 2021, we would start to see that 30 was a pretty inconsistent rapper, with him only dropping a few songs in 2021, as a comparison to 2020, where he was pretty consistent. In 2022, we would only see two songs from B-Side, as a lot of the members jumped off road or went to jail. 30 would drop Peekaboo in January 2022, and later in July he would feature on his second plugged in. Both of these tracks have around a million views. This just shows the potential 30 has. However, he's really inconsistent, and we haven't seen anything from him since 2022. On the 16th of June 2022, a member of DQN named LJ, affiliated with B-Side, would be walking in Beckenham Place Park when a popular Zone 2 rapper named Gully would be on the lurk for any ops. This was allegedly in response to B-Side members chasing Zone 2 members and robbing them. However, Gully would spot LJ and a fight would ensue. This resulted in Gully stabbing LJ in the neck. Gully would flee the scene leaving LJ to die, with police and ambulances arriving on the scene. However, sadly LJ would be pronounced dead on the scene, with a murder investigation being launched. The following Following days after the murder, Gully would go live on Instagram talking to fans. What fans didn't know was that Gully was wanted for the murder, and halfway through the live, armed police would arrest Gully for the murder, with the entire incident being caught on Instagram live. I'm not listen, leaving. I'm listen, not leaving. Godfrey, you're under arrest for murder, okay? I'm listen not exactly what I'm saying. Put I'm the phone on that radiator. Put the phone on the radiator. Do not make any sudden moves. Gully would be charged for the murder and would be found guilty in 2023. He would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 24 years. Rest in peace, LJ. Gully would be a big loss to the drill scene, with him being a very popular rapper, with his songs having hundreds of thousands of views, and him even having a big fan base within the UK drill scene. However, he chose to focus on the roads and not music, and now he has to deal with the consequences. Since 2022, rappers from both sides have been quiet, most likely focusing on making money and escaping the streets. If you learn anything from this video, make sure that it's that the road life isn't worth it. All of the people in this video have families and friends that will never see them again, whether that be due to jail or death. Rest in peace, everyone in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.